I'm gonna be cooking for you guys. Hi God. Oh. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be cooking. And I'm gonna cook a shrimp cake. So on my YouTube on our YouTube channel, I'm gonna be doing episodes of cooking. Just everything that I'm good at because I am the talent, the goat, like I'm a lot of things, but I'm also very, very humble. And yeah, so I'm gonna cook for you in today's episode of Cooking with Shakira. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I just wrote my recipe down and I don't actually have the directions because I'm gonna wing it. So we need butter, but I don't have butter, so I'm gonna use margarine. We need three cups of all-purpose flour. I don't know what all-purpose flour is, but I have normal flour, pure plain flour, so I'm just gonna use that. Um, one tablespoon of baking powder. Oh, fuck off. Baking powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. Salt. Sugar. We need sugar. Four large eggs. I don't know the difference between normal eggs and large eggs, so I just have these eggs. I feel like they're large. They feel pretty heavy to me. Oh, shit. Shush it out. Four large eggs. One tablespoon of vanilla essence. And milk. We have milk. This is the milk. And then the last thing that I need is food colouring, green food colouring. Put in house, do not flush down sink. I don't actually know if you can eat this one, but because it came with my brother's game that he got from the warehouse. But I've put it in my eyes before, so. Surely we can eat it. So the first step we're going to want to do is probably... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Huh. Okay, so the first step that you're going to want to do is get your bowl that can fit all the ingredients that you need in it. A measuring cup and measuring spoons. Measuring spoon is though, so I'm gonna use this. I feel like when you bake cakes, because I am a chef, I should know that you're supposed to put all the dry ingredients in first, so that's what I'm gonna do. Starting with all purpose flour. And I did not know what all purpose flour was, so I have pure plain flour. Sounds the same to me. Like, oh, there's a hole, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oops, okay, how much do I need of these? Three cups, one cup. Estimating a cup, two cups. Three cups, so that was three cups of flour. And then, just put flour away because we don't need any more. Three cups of flour. And then we need one tablespoon of baking powder. Is that a tablespoon? It's gonna have to be. Wait, which one's a tablespoon? And then half a teaspoon of salt. One and a half cup of sugar. I feel like with sugar you just, you can never have too much. So I'm going to do one cup. And then one fork.
good enough. So after you put all the dry ingredients in, you're supposed to mix it, so I feel like I should mix it. No, it's always good to mix it like this because my chef that used to teach me before I became a chef myself would like tell me that like the more you mix it, the more it's not going to be like bumpy. Yeah. So there. Then we're going to do our dry, wet ingredients. Four large eggs. So this is a special talent that I have. Ready? got to make sure you don't get any eggshells in it, like this. See, that is a hazard. That was just a practice round though, because I was showing you guys what not to do when you're cracking eggs. Obviously. And now, for the real round, we're going to close our eyes and do it. That was pretty mean. No eggshells in this one. One tablespoon of vanilla extract essence. One and a half quarter cup of milk. This milk's not open. Yeet! Oh, what the fuck? One. So you're going to want to just start mixing it all together. Oh, there's an eggshell. Damn it. Mix, mix. Oh! Fuck. I think it might be easier to mix with a fork. Or one of these, actually. So I'm just going to mix this all together. For professionals, it takes about like 22 seconds, like maybe like 10 minutes to mix it in properly. But for me, because I am like a professional, it takes me just like two minutes. So if you just mix it fast, you know. I got this technique in cooking last year. Um, you go like that with your elbow. It just helps so much more. Until the batter looks like this. You see how that's a nice, finely mixed cake mixture? So now what you want to do is add in your food colouring. This one's for you, Chappie. Once you have your food colouring in, you're just going to mix it. That's pretty satisfying if you ask me. But I don't know why it's not going green. <laughs> I might just tip the whole thing in and call it a day. Yep. The whole thing laughing, yep. So this is our end result. So it didn't really turn green. It literally, it looks disgusting right now. So I just remembered that I forgot butter. And I'm not going to put it in now because that just will wreck it. That's what my chef tells me. If you ever forget something when you're cooking, don't put it in in last minute because it won't have got all the other flavours from all the other ingredients and it will just, your cake's going to end up just butter, runny butter in the oven. So don't do it. So I buttered the cake tin and I'm about to put the mixture into it but I'm going to do a little montage, mont, mont, montage. You can't see it, but like if you could, you'd be like, ooh, 
she a cook, she a chef or whatever. That's what my friends like to say to me. Oh, she talented. Oh, she a chef. Because they all look you jealous. Mm -mm. Yum. So I've, I've just put her in the oven and I'm about to close it. Oh, this oven is so grotty. Okay, 30 minutes. Here we go. She a chef. I don't know, but it's pretty smoky in here. Like... I think I'm going to have to open a door because I don't want to set off the fire alarms. Because that shit would be really scary. A cleaning chef got juice playing with his fingers. Singing my life with his words to die. Can you bear? I met him out for dinner on a Friday night. He really had me working up in half a side. He had tattoos up and down his arm. So one stop shop, make my panties drop. He's sweet like a sugar called a candy man. So I'm gonna make icing now. I don't have a recipe for this because I feel like icing is just icing sugar and milk, maybe. But I just, I don't know. It just seems so easy. So, I'm gonna do two cups of icing sugar. Not even full cups, because I don't need a full cup. I'm gonna do half a cup or maybe not even half a cup, maybe like one, just how much I want actually. That much, cocoa powder. Oh, I feel like that was way too much because cocoa powder is really yuck. Um, that sounds like a meat problem though, so. And then milk. I feel like you make icing with milk because milk is like normal. So I'm just gonna get a spoon. A fork to mix it and then just chuck a bit of milk in. I don't know how much you need, but I'm going off the estimation of my heart. Also, why do I do that? I'm so stupid, man. Oh, there she comes. She's coming. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I feel like I'm really talented. People don't like to admit it, but I know they low-key think it. So, my cake has been in the oven for like 20 minutes. I think, I don't actually know. But, I'm going to show you it, because I think you can do that. Oh, it's smoky, but it looks so good. My cake has been in the oven now for 45, now, like 30 minutes. I'm just going to... Oh. So, my cake's been in the oven now. Oh, what the fuck happened there? Um... I don't know what happened there, but it's been in the oven for 45 minutes now, so it should be ready, but I don't actually know, because I feel like you're supposed to do this to it. Um, I don't know what's happening. Um, I don't know if the cake's ready, but like, um, hold on. So there's smoke coming out of the oven, and I don't know what to do. Oh my god, no. I burnt it. Oh my god. Oh no. It's really smoky in here. And I burnt my cake. So the fire alarm just went off and it was really scary, but I turned it off now. And here's my finished cake. Ah, fuck off. So, I don't even know what happened. Because it does not burn. Nah, never burnt. But I've just got to wait for it to cool down. And while I do that, I need to air out the oven. The state of my oven right now. Call me Chef Shakira because I make a cake. I made the cake, I burnt the cake, and then the fire alarm went off. Oh, I'm Shakira. Sha oh, Shakira. Okay, so I've just let my cake cool down. It is I don't know. I don't actually know what happened, oi. Oi, I reckon. Um, so this is my final cake. I told you guys I was a chef. Now to the fun bit. Decorating it. So, I'm going to... Chop off 
this bit because I feel like I can use that for like the eyes and the nose and like if I can't even chop it off I eh? Woo! Fuck me, I am a chef. Chef who? So like this cake is pretty sh good. I can't really think I finished it. And like if you ever wanted me to make a birthday cake for you, just help me out. I mean Prove to you guys how fucking good I am at cooking. I don't actually know what will. That looks like moldy fucking bread, G. That's ugly. Oh! This looks so cool. Hold up. Oh my god. I feel like that's good. Eh? Cut him some nostrils. I feel like I've low key actually done pretty well. Because, like, I didn't even expect the cake to work, eh? And it tastes really fucking nice. I'm not even gonna like that. Looks like suck my own dick bar. And then I'm gonna cut its mouth. Um, that looks like Shrek to me. So, this is my finished look. It is a Shrek cake. I think I did a pretty good job. I'm gonna insert an image of the real sh the Shrek that I was like trying to think. but like how fucking good is this like i'm so sorry master chef who guys thank you for watching my video and i hope you enjoyed it we'll be back with another video soon when charlie can actually film because he was supposed to film this with me but he couldn't come so i just did it myself because i'm the real chef not him so like i'm the talent the go the chef like i'm a lot of things but at least i'm humble Stay humble. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.